Hello, and welcome to another retro video game stream on Original Hardware. Uh, tonight, we're going to be returning to the new Berserk Enhanced Edition for the Atari 2600. Um, this is a really nice reissue of Berserk by Atari. They have added a couple of nice little quality of life uh, improvements. They added the voices back into the game. Uh, the font is a little different for the score. Uh, the colors are more closely uh, matching to the arcade game. A um, couple other little graphical changes. The explosions of the robots look a little bit more like the arcade. Uh, other than that, I think it's mostly identical uh, to the gameplay. Oh, uh, one other thing. It's a big thing. The robots can now shoot diagonally. <laughs> Uh, which is actually a really big deal. So uh, it it changes the strategy of the game a little bit. Uh, the angles that you can attack the robots uh, are not so obvious. So it'll be harder to get a higher score in Berserk Enhanced Edition than the old Atari 2600 Berserk. So <clears throat> I actually have a, a pretty good high score on Mode 9 for Berserk. Uh, I think I'm in ninth place for world record on it on Twin Galaxies. Not that my score is that exceptional, but it's it's on there. <laughs> so if you like uh, looking up high scores for games, I'm actually on the list at Twin Galaxies. So anyway, uh, we'll be playing on Mode 9, which is the hardest mode of the game. Uh, there are no extra lives. You get two lives, and that's it. Uh, Evil Auto is invulnerable, and you just play as long as you, you can and go for a high score. So, um, anyway, this, this wasn't too expensive. I think it was $30, which isn't too bad for a, a new Atari release. The box is nice. Comes with a little sleeve, uh, for the cartridge, which is pretty cool. Um, so, uh, this is coincided with the release of the 2600 plus, which this is not, this is an original Vader Atari from, uh, like 83 or 82, I think. Uh, I have modded the video. It has a Ultimate Atari video mod in my console, but it's an original hardware. And uh, let's see how far we can get with Berserk Enhanced on my original Vader Atari 2600. All right, I'm going to set the level to nine, and we'll get started. My switches are a little dirty, as you can see. All right. So my strategy in the past has been to keep going up or keep going down on each map. I think if you go left or right, it's not good. Can't touch the walls. That's a terrible start. <laughs> Get out. No. Oh. Uh, inauspicious beginning here. Evil Auto will move faster if all of the robots are dead. So, you can kind of account for that. 
when you're trying to get out of the room. See how much slower he goes up rather than sideways. He seems to follow you from the bottom if you keep going up. You get a bonus if you wipe out all the robots. Game one, thirty-eight, seventy. Not very good. A terrible beginning. I forget what my high score is. I think it's like eleven thousand something. So if we can break ten thousand. That would be amazing. You'll notice that the uh, shots from the robots start out slow and then get faster and faster. Like, there's also some gameplay elements that are a little different than the old game. Robots behave mostly the same, but they seem to appear closer sometimes. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, I really like Berserk uh, for a couple of reasons. Now, see that my bullet just like dis disappeared on that robot. Um, because it's you know it's simple, but it's challenging. It's fun. It's a fun pick up and play game, which is one of the things I think is the most appealing about 2600. Just pop a game in and play. And Berserk's really great for that. Not 
Yep. See, there's some diagonal firing there. Uh, that's really bad. Oof. I got trapped. It's definitely harder than on the regular uh, Berserk. 5290. It broke 5000. That's better. Yeah, them being able to shoot diagonally makes a big difference. It's much tougher. Um, 52.90, that's my new high score. On the enhanced version of Berserk. Mode 9. Yeah. Diagonal fire. It's only fair, right? I mean, you can shoot diagonally. Now, I never played Berserk in the arcade, but, you know, the talking uh, voices, I think, were part of the appeal way back in the very early 80s when this was in the arcade. I love it when they suicide on the wall like that. Saves me the trouble. Now they can only have one enemy missile on the screen. So when it's moving more slowly like that, you have a little bit of a window of opportunity if they fire to escape and fire back. And they won't start shooting for, I think, two seconds, maybe? Yeah, evil auto seems to follow you from the direction that you left. It's close. We get a brief window of time before Evil Auto appears. Not sure what exactly the time is, but it's within 10 seconds, maybe. Oh, no! Well, we broke our new high score already. Luminoid 
6,000. I don't know mess with those. Diagonal shooting. 68.90. We're getting better. Ah, we wanted to break 7,000. All right, 68.90. It's definitely a lot harder than the original Berserk. Suncom six stick joystick, which is my joystick of preference. Diagonal fire. Sure, going up is the best direction. Down seems to work okay, though, too. They always shoot down from their right hand, too. So you can kind of account for that. Oh. 6150. I'm not going to be able to kill that guy. Actually, Evil Auto might have killed him. I should have left that. Yeah, 
Man, 6450. Can't quite get over that 7,000 hump. All right. Does seem to be a, an odd situation where it doesn't register the laser blasts on the robot. Not sure what's going on there. If it's like thinking I'm running into a shot from the robot. <laughs> or they'll shoot each other. Some bulletproof robots. Not sure if that's a bug or a quirk of the game. See, if you shoot a bolt, like an enemy laser bolt, it will stop. <sighs> Just about touched that robot. That. Can't quite break seven thousand. shooting. It adds a whole new element to the game. Oh, 
Understanding how they shoot diagonally is challenging. Come on, die on the wall. Come on. Robot behavior is definitely a little different. Because like, he stopped shooting when I got around the, the wall. I don't remember them doing that. Four eighty. All right. All right. Let's try this again. I think I've got a couple more games in me. I want to try to break that 7,000. So I haven't bought an Atari 2600 Plus. Um, I think it's been pretty popular for Atari, the new Atari. Um, it's cool that they made a 2600 Plus. I think a cartridge-capable system, even though it's emulation, uh, is welcome. Play 7,800 games as well, which there aren't a ton of, but it's cool that it does that. And they just recently patched it to be more compatible, so it plays some of the titles that people wanted that uh, weren't compatible before, like Pitfall 2. Uh, John Hancock 
is a uh, retro YouTuber who is a big Atari fan. He just released a video talking about the patch that uh, they made for the 2600 Plus. It also allows uh, some homebrews that weren't working to work, which is cool. So it seems like Atari is trying to improve the console to make it more compatible. So that's really great. I happen to have a video modded <laughs> Vader Atari that I like quite a bit, so I don't really feel like I need the 2600 Plus. But for those... Atari fans out there who, you know, would like to have a modern video capable system. It's nice. For me, the thing I'm most excited about is that Atari is releasing new paddles and new joysticks. So new paddles in particular are very welcome. My paddles are super brittle. The plastic is just disintegrating after all this time. Whoa, what happened there? Screen kind of freaked out. Again, there's a weird angle where they attack diagonally, and I can't quite figure it out. So you can kind of attack their feet. Fifty-five eighty still haven't broke that seven thousand mark. This is definitely more difficult. It makes a big difference not being able to uh, attack because they can shoot diagonally. I do like the new color palette on this version too. I think the green uh, you know, main character and the walls seem like kind of a sharper dark blue, more like the arcade, which is cool. It's also cool that the 2600 is capable of doing digital voice. It's really kind of amazing. <sighs> Gotta go up so that you can keep auto off of you as long as possible. That was a little bit of a gamble, but I don't think the shots are going fast enough yet for me to not attempt that. Not 
Last life, let's make it count. Or we'll just get shot. All right. Well, we didn't break 7,000 points. I think we, the highest score we got was like 6,800 or something. 67 something. So we didn't quite break 7,000, but that's still okay for, I would say, a more difficult version of Mode 9 Berserk. Um, some of the same strategies apply, but it's still totally new game with them being able to shoot diagonally like that, which is great, actually. <laughs> they should have always been able to shoot diagonally. <laughs> it makes more sense. Um, I think they could shoot diagonally in the arcade, too. So a welcome change and a welcome enhancement to the classic Berserk on the Atari 2600. So just a quick stream tonight. We're just going to play this one game and uh, had some fun. I love, actually, Berserk on the 2600. I think it's a great game. It's relaxing, enjoyable, challenging. Um, absolute classic on the console. If you have an Atari 2600+, Plus, I highly recommend getting this new release. If you have an old Atari 2600, I recommend Berserk Enhanced Edition. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back next week with some more retro video games on original hardware. I uh, hope you have a great rest of your evening. Thanks for watching.